Hello Flosty, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to speak about something different so you won't see cross stitching today. Uh, I will speak about my uh, embroidery scissors. Um, I love using scissors as um, embroidery accessory. I love buying them and uh, until uh, last year I was just saying that I have uh, um, embroidery scissors uh, more than I need to have <laughs> but last year I started buying uh, um, Saju scissors and uh, I bought uh, a number of them that's why since last year I'm calling my scissors a collection so today uh, I, I wanted to share with you what I have in my collection um, in fact I wanted to um, to have such a video for a longer time but i didn't have time to put myself together and make it so finally i found the time and uh, i wanted to share with you what i have in my collection and as well i wanted to share with you the fact if i'm using them and how um, uh, comfortable are they in uh, everyday use when we are cross stitching so i hope you will enjoy this video uh, first of all, I'll start from back back again when I started the uh, cross stitching because I started cross stitching in 2013. It was October, yes. And um, um, when I started cross stitching, I bought my first kit was a kit from Luca S, uh, the Moldovan brand. And in the kit, you have everything like you have one needle, you have the fabric, it was Aida, and you have the uh, threads, you have the chart. Of course, you need a you need a pair of scissors. The intuition <laughs> led me to take my uh, you know manicure uh, scissors and use them. And uh, as uh, I, I noticed after this, uh, in many cases, this was the these were the scissors which many of uh, cross stitchers uh, used and maybe use still now. I use them for I, I mean I used manicure. Um, um, scissors for almost a year and in 2014 I started watching Russian floss tube and uh, I was surprised that actually there are scissors embroidery scissors which you are buying and you are using only when you are cross stitching so at that time I was uh, living in Italy in a little town by the sea and uh, happily luckily for me I had um, a shop a needle workshop not far from me uh, where uh, they were selling scissors and I bought in that shop my first three pairs of embroidery scissors so I can even show you the beginning which was the my beginning uh, so I bought this ones which are very famous um, like for, for embroidery scissors for cross stitchers but I haven't used them you see mine are gold and silver it's a combination of gold and silver uh, I like them very much they are very nice they are sharp I like very much sharp uh, scissors but uh, you see here for my uh, fingers because different cross stitchers different people have different uh, fingers for my finger this, this one is too small and i'm not uh, when like cross stitching and you want to grab them quickly like start using them for me they are not comfortable so so far i have them because i won't like throw them away but uh, but i use them very very little because still for, for me it's not they are not very comfortable then I have these two pairs, which I used extremely. So I have these two pairs. This ones used to be gold, but you see that the gold already faded away here. And they look like uh, DMC, I don't know, floral or peacock. The, there are such a scissors, I don't remember which ones, but they, they look like, but the, no, they, they were bought. And uh, by the way, um, they, they bought, were bought from Italy, but I don't know which brand they are. I suppose they were made in Italy because, I don't know, they are very good quality, but I don't know what brand they are. And these ones are my favorite. So since the moment I bought them in 2013, I am still using even nowadays. I have such a scissor here. So I, I'm still using them. They, they are excellent and they are like cutting excellently and they are like sharp. I, I love them. I just love this, these scissors. <laughs> I mean like this pair because these ones I rarely rarely use but these ones are still in use uh, so these were the three pairs of scissors which I bought from Italy because I was living there then um, in 2015 I already moved to UK and in the very beginning 
These were the three pairs of scissors which I bought from Sue and So. Now this shop closed, but then it was working. I don't remember their brand because on them it's not written the brand, but I remember that this one it was, if I'm not wrong, from Bohin. They were not uh, expensive, all these three pairs. They were um, uh, no more than 10 pounds, if I'm not wrong, but these ones are not comfortable to use. So when I'm saying they are not comfortable to use, I mean uh, by me because uh, we, people are different, we have different uh, hand structure and I don't know, many, many things uh, we are using maybe them differently. That's why when I'm saying that uh, they are not comfortable and I don't like them, I don't like because of, because I don't like working with them because they don't fit in my, uh, on my fingers. It's not because uh, you won't like them because maybe if you have this uh, kind of scissors and you love them and you are using them, so this is your opinion, of course, because different cross teachers use them differently and have different opinion. So this ones, you see, I also don't like, so I have used them and they are not very easily to use. Yeah. So I use them like I try to use them, but no, they don't go. This ones I remember that I saw in a video and I liked them enormously. I still like them, but um, I don't know, I consider them too big. So they are comfortable here, but uh, they are not uh, sharp, like here at the point, because I like the, the, here the, the scissors to be sharp. And uh, they don't cut very, very well, honestly, and they are going also not very easily, you see. And this pair, uh, which are comfortable to hold here, they are very easy, they cut very, very, very well, but I don't like that they have here the edges around, it's not sharp. As I said, I like sharp ones. So this were the three next uh, uh, scissors which I bought. Then the Russian cross stitchers, those tubers, started like falling in love with Premax scissors. Premax scissors, they are Italian made scissors. And I bought mine from uh, Casa Cinina. Uh, there is uh, such an Italian site and they are selling these scissors. And they have, uh, I think they have all the models of uh, Premax, I think. And they don't they don't, uh, don't cost a lot. So they are very affordable. So I bought so many, so many scissors from uh, Premax. This were one of the first. I'm using them usually around Christmas because they are Christmassy for me. I have such, such a scissor fob for them. I love, I adore these scissors. They are very, very nice to use. They are very comfortable. They just cut excellently. I like how they, this sharp point here. So they are excellent. I adore the scissors. I know that there is a mini version. I don't have it. I have the full version of these ones. Uh, then I have such scissors, which are also one of my favorites. These are, they have in silver, these ones as well. This, I have such a scissor fob, and they are super great. They are super great when you use. They are so light, they are so good. I don't know. If uh, to speak about um, money to be spent on a pair of scissors, I would say that the money which you would spend spend for a pair of scissors Premax, they are the most, the best invested money in a scissor, in a pair of scissors. Honestly, they don't cost a lot, but they are, they are very, very good quality. I have such scissors. They are in mine are silver and blue. I know that they have such a model in gold, in silver, and I think they have other colors. I chose blue because I have such a scissor fob here. So again, comfortable, easy to use no comments the best i have such rapid hair i don't know who is this one i know they have also um i don't remember what they have they have they have more but i bought just the, the hair so far maybe i'll buy more with the animals i have such scissors and for probably the model is known to you because i showed you that i have such scissors from bohin you see and these ones, these are carbon black. They are from uh, from Premax. So the the difference is, you see, I cannot put, and they're very difficult, and they are not like sharp here. The difference in these ones, you see. So this one, these ones are I'm not using because uh, I don't like them. They are not easy to use. These ones are very well, very good. I mean, like very well usable. And. Um, 
I have the Eiffel Tower. I have two of Eiffel Towers. Um, because I bought this one, the silver one first, but it's, uh, it's not... Uh, uh, how do I say? It's, it's this color, which I didn't like very much. So the scissors are perfect to use, but I didn't like the color very much, that's why. But I wanted the, an Eiffel Tower. I desperately wanted an Eiffel Tower. And I bought the, the golden one. So that's why I have two. By the way, on the Casa Chinina, you can, uh, if there is a discount, you can buy them even cheaper. Because many of them I bought when they had very great discounts. And I have this one, which is the most expensive from them. Which they um, say that uh, this is an embroidery and this is a um, um, manicure um, scissors. But um, honestly, taking into account the fact that they are more expensive. This is my scissor fob. I wouldn't say that, uh, me personally, I wouldn't say that they are so, so good. Okay, they are easy. Uh, by the way, I have never used them as a manicure, no, uh, scissors. So, they are easy to use. Yes, they cut okay. It is said that uh, they are good for um, uh, cranics, um, threads like this. Um, I used them in the Passion Dance uh, project, like the uh, Spanish couple, where I had a lot of uh, golden thread. I wouldn't say that they were better. They were as usual, so, and they are heavier than the others, than all the others, they're heavier. So, for me personally, I don't see what they are so expensive, because for me, they weren't, like, uh, better, I would say. And I forgot to show you that I have one more stork uh, scissors. I received them as a, as a present uh, not a long time ago, so that's why I didn't unpack them, because I'll probably show them in the video while I show it presents I have got, but I have their silver, so I have a second pair as well. Uh, then I wanted to show you what uh, Kelmscott scissors I have. I have three pairs so far, not so many, I would say. And speaking about Kelmscott scissors, I know that many cross teachers say that they are not very well to use. Uh, some of them say that they are normal scissors and you can use them. I will tell you my personal opinion about uh, using them. So. Um, I bought this one, the sheep, uh, because I like the model a lot. I, I know that they have in black as well. Maybe I'll buy the black one as well. But if to use them, yes, here they're uh, comfortable to, to take, but they're very short here, then they are not sharp. You can cut the thread, but they are not the most comfortable uh, scissors to use. But they are nice. <laughs> they are super nice. Uh, then I have these ones, which I call the, it seems to me, the cathedral scissors. Uh, which uh, are better to use because they are like, I think they are better. But still I'm not using them a lot because when it's to use scissors, I prefer using uh, Premax for me, they are, they are better in use. Uh, then I have such witch's boots, which I was looking desperately for two years ago because I, I stitched this one from Mill, Mill Hill, this pin cushion, and I wanted to make from it a scissor fob and I wanted to make a scissor fob for these models of scissors. That's why I was looking for them. And by the way, I haven't used this ones once because I cannot use them. They are very difficult to use. And these ones are both just for, I don't know, atmosphere, just to, to have such nice and interesting uh, scissors in my collection. So, uh, but uh, nevertheless, I will buy more, honestly, because they are not expensive and they are very like nice to, to buy for different occasions and the black ones are like nice. That's why I think I will buy more, but using them so, so. Uh, then I have such a tiny pair of scissors from Kohana. Uh, this was the limited edition of uh, winter 2020, 2019, 2020. They are beige, white beige. They are very tiny. They are easy to use. They are nice, but for me still, they are very tiny. I don't know. I still prefer this variant of classical ones. So I use them a couple of times, but because when I bought them, I thought that I'm going to try them and then maybe I'm going to buy one or two more pairs of them. If they, are, they will prove to be very comfortable. They are comfortable, but then they are not my type. I will just say that they are not my type. I have one more pair, just one pair of such scissors. They are from Dovo. They were bought from Germany because Dovo, I mean from eBay, but from a German shop. They are made in Germany. And I wanted to pay your attention at this one. So 
The silver one is Dovo, the golden one are um, Premax, you see, it's absolutely the same model. Just one in silver, one in gold, and uh, I tried these ones, I used these ones, and they are not better than the Premax, but they cost like two times uh, more than these ones. So my personal opinion, just my personal opinion, that it doesn't worth paying more money for a pair of scissors, because they will do just what these ones do. So that's why so far I'm not going to buy any more Dovo scissors. So I'm going to use these ones. And uh, and it's the Saju. Uh, yes, Saju. Um, I, as a cross teacher, uh, for all, all, all these years since I have known about Saju brand, I was thinking that I won't buy Saju. Um, uh, scissors they are too expensive they are plastic and uh, you can easily break them so you have to be very careful with them that's why i said that uh, no i won't buy such such scissors but uh, last autumn um i don't know why but i desperately wanted and then i told myself okay i'm going to buy a pair and that's it and uh, luckily i found this pair in a knitting shop online knitting shop here in uk they were had a very very good discount and it was autumn, and for me, these this scissors are like kind of autumn scissors, <laughs> and I bought them. And uh, I started using them, and I was so surprised that they are so light, they cut so well, they have sharp sharp point here, it's what I like. So you can use them, because I thought that I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to just look at it and be happy that I have a Saju scissor, <laughs> that I have a pair of Saju scissors. No, they are really nice to use. It's just the fact that you have to be very careful where you are putting them when using, after using, so you cannot leave them on your armchair and then sit on them because you'll break them. So you have to be very careful, uh, to, to be careful where you put them and to, to look after them. But they are very functional, very functional. I like them a lot. That's why not like after a little while of time, this ones came into my collection. This is the um, the um, swans, the one, the white pearl with swans. I like this model a lot. This is the uh, tassel they have. You see. So I also use this ones as well because I'm using them in my projects, by the way. So they 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 very nice to use. And then it was after the second one, it was when I realized that, yes, I wanted to buy them. <laughs> and I started looking for the models, what colors, and I realized that there are some models which are out of production, which I tried to, to look for. And from those which were out of production, I still managed to buy these ones, which I adore, the blue ones. I bought them from US, but they came like safe and sound. So I'm super happy that I managed to buy these ones because they, this one's out of production already. And at the time, it was already Christmas, around Christmas, I wanted these ones a lot. But on the official site, Saju, it was said that they are out of stock, not that they are discontinued, but they are out of stock and they were out of stock for a long time. And I started suspecting that they are discontinuing them. It's just they didn't announce it officially. And I started looking them. You won't believe it, but these ones were bought from South Korea. I found them there for a good price and uh, free delivery. So I bought them from there. And although after a while, I, I know that uh, um, like a few months ago, this uh, this uh, model already started uh, being in stock on official site of Saju. I don't know if they now have it in stock, but I know that they already brought it in stock. Then it was this one with S. Finally, I have a pair of uh, of um, scissors with S from Saju. This is the tassel. This one's. Uh, we brought just a second i'll show you uh, this ones i bought here in uk and i found them in the shop again it wasn't a cross stitch shop they had this kit and the kit was um, the kit itself it was cheaper than the uh, scissors to buy them uh, like in france so i said why not <laughs> if it's free delivery and i'm paying less why not to take uh, advantage and uh, buy the the whole uh, uh, the whole uh, kit. So in the kit it was the, the um, scissors. This ones, they're not white, they're beige. 
and also there is a, a winder thread winder it's called this one they're plastic so they're not nothing natural and such a thimble so in such a way i have a whole set and the last one the last pair which i bought this is this one Dantel de Calais Noir. Uh, this is the latest release of Saju. It was released in the beginning of this year, 2020. So I like this one a lot. And that's it. So actually I have uh, like six pair of uh, scissors from Saju. And if you are going to ask me if I'm going to buy more. Um, so far, I mean from what we have, no. Because uh, they have white, two more models, but I'm not going to buy any more whites. It's going to be just these ones. Uh, from the ones which are out of production, I won't buy any because they are hard to find and they are expensive. Um, from the existing ones, I said that I bought what I liked. I'm waiting for the new models, but as far as I know, they are not releasing very quickly, very frequently new models. Uh, from the uh, steel ones, because they have also the steel, like like this. Uh, by the way, they have the Eiffel Tower. I decided that I won't buy anything, because they have the Eiffel Tower. I already have the Eiffel Tower. And uh, as I understood from a video of, of Russian floss tubers, they, com they were comparing this uh, pair of scissors, Eiffel Tower, from Premax and the others from Sajun. They said that there is no difference. They both cut very well. So I said, why buying, like paying so much money? I know that they have such a model. Again, I have it from Premax. So I decided, no. I was thinking about the model, which is uh, with a carriage, which is also kind of logo of uh, um, uh, Saju. I'll try to insert a photo. They cost 120, 130. I don't remember exactly, but I know that it's more than 100 euros. But, um, but... I have a feeling that they are not very easy to use. They are heavy and they are uncomfortable. And uh, I'm not ready to spend 120 euros for a pair of scissors, which will just be a beautiful accessory like in my uh, stash. Because yes, I, I bought the scissors, but they, they cost until 10, 10 pounds. So they, they, they cost uh, little. And that's why I bought a pair. Yes, I have the witch's boots and I'm happy. But paying 120 and not using them, I'm not really doing that. So, no. So far, no. Uh, about Premax scissors, which I have a lot. This, this one's. Um, so far, I won't buy any model, any pair, because I have a lot. But if they will have a new release, which I will like enormously, greatly, for the money they ask for this uh, kind of scissors, yes, I'm going to buy maybe a pair. Kohana, no, so far, because because no. <laughs> By the way, Kohana has the bigger model, like the full-size model. Also, it costs uh, like 100, 100 and something euros. I don't remember, but they're expensive. I wanted to buy those ones, but I stopped in time because I said, that why? I already have so many scissors. Why buying one more pair? And... Uh, Kelmsco designs, yes, but I'll buy not so often and I'll buy it because they are nice. <laughs> because there are like pumpkin scissors they have there. Uh, what else? Um, and I don't remember which other models, but they still have some models which maybe in time, just for fun, I will buy them. But not not for use, for sure not for use because uh, Premax are much better than, than Kelmsco designs. And uh, that's it. Okay, in the end, if you are going to ask me if I have a pair of scissors which I dream about, of course I do, because it's normal to dream about uh, uh, to dream about something because dreams happen to come true. Um, maybe many of you know, maybe maybe some of you even have this uh, kind of scissors. So uh, they are handmade scissors by the French uh, Jean-Marie Rouleau. Um, they are sold on the French needle, the French needle. Uh, they cost a lot <laughs> because they are around 500, even 600 dollars. Uh, the golden ones, as far as I know, they are even covered in gold, with gold. They are very fine. They are very nice. They are, they are super great. And I think they would be like the 
uh, crown of uh, every um, cross stitch stash but um, so like at this stage in my cross stitch life i'm still not ready to pay so much money uh, on a, on a pair of scissors so far no but still it's it's a pair of scissors these are scissors which I like and these are scissors which I dream that I will have maybe one day. So this is it. These are all my pairs of scissors which I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was interesting for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like the, the, my videos. Uh, don't forget to like this video and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.